We're here with Michael Russell at the U.S. Open, his final tournament as a professional. Michael, how has it been this week? It's been incredible. I mean, to come in your last tournament and have that be the U.S. Open, the Grand Slam. Uh, so many memories here. You know, my first time I played here was in 1998, and then to come back 17 years later and still be playing, it's, uh, it's hard to describe it in just a couple words exactly, but it's very special. How emotional has it been for you this week? It's actually been pretty relaxed. I've been fortunate to have my brother flew up one day for one of my matches. I've had a lot of friends here. Uh, my wife always is a, is a huge support for me. And she's here to enjoy in this. So it's, uh, it's kind of helped keep my emotions in check. And I've been playing fantastic in the doubles. And you know, my partner, Donald, is just a beast out there. And it's been amazing. What has Donald's single success done for you as a team? Well, you know, he knows it's my last tournament. So I think that's also given him a little bit of an impetus to play so well out there and you know both of us have been playing really aggressive and fired up the crowd's been helping us and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun I mean it's the last tournament and why not go out as hard as you can seems like this entire generation is now retiring with Robbie Ginepri and Marty Fish can you reflect back on what you guys have meant to American tennis as a whole I mean all of us have been a, a staple out there for so long you know Marty going through obviously some some problems that he has, you know, being a mentor for everybody coming up. Myself, just the way I play, all the injuries that I've been through, my fighting spirit, my perseverance for playing so long, I think it's a good role model for a lot of the young Americans coming up. And I know we have a, have a great class coming up with 17, 18 years and old, and hopefully they can learn from what we've done. You've had a very long career. Is there one moment that you can look back on that you could say that's, that's a turning point for me? I mean, it's been crazy like this year I qualified it was my 34th main draw Grand Slam singles tournament and I was looking back and I played over 115 main draw singles ATP events so it's obviously been a long 17 years on tour you know, playing Gustavo Cuerton in 2001 you know it was an incredible match it's basically my first time on a Grand Slam stage on center court and it basically leapfrogged me into the top 100 you know, out of being ranked like 130 at the time from qualifying. And it was just a fantastic experience. Disappointing not being able to win that match with a match point, but at the same time, you know, now I was on the ATP Tour full time and, you know, it just catapulted my career from there. And you, so you turned pro in 1998 and you're known one, as one of the grinders on the tour. How have you sort of embraced that role? Well, I've been known for my fitness and my perseverance, so I've, I've embraced that. and. You know, the guys were laughing with me because they said, oh, you know, you're retiring, you haven't played since April, and you look like you're actually fitter. I said, yeah, I'll probably end up doing more fitness now than now that I'm retiring because, you know, I don't have those restraints saying I can't do something because of tennis. Now I can go out and, and do everything I want to do fitness-wise. And, you know, I've embraced that, and, you know, it's been a kind of my persona for so long, that fitness and that ability to play for five hours on the court. You recently got your master's in business administration. How important has education been for you? It's extremely important. I mean, when I left Miami in 98, I told myself, my family, that you know, I want to go back, finish my degree. I've always emphasized you know, the importance of education higher than even playing tennis. So to go back and finish my degree, finish with honors, which was great. You know, it wasn't easy. You know, one year in Australia, I lost to Del Pocho in four sets, four hours. And then I had to come back and take a three and a half hour math exam. So I really had to, had to juggle my time and everything that I was doing, but you know, it, it made me a better person for it. And I, you know, it's important to have your education because you know, tennis is one part of your life and you're gonna have a lot of other opportunities afterwards. And what's next for Michael Russell? Well, I'd like to stay in tennis. You know, it's been a part of my life forever. I think I have a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience that I can share with you know, young players, a lot of up and coming Americans, as well as you know, even established tour players. So, if I can work it out where I can maybe help with the USTA, do some private coaching, um, it would be fantastic because I just I want to share everything that I know. How do you want to be remembered with the fans? I want to be remembered as a guy that never gave up. You know, he had an extremely long career, fantastic career, played over eight years of main draw Grand Slams. And, you know, when you go out there, you say, I'm going to be in for a dogfight no matter who you are when I play Michael Russell.